Okay guys, welcome to another video on the Fox Tech community. This time in this insightful video, we're going to be diving into a common issue faced by iPhone users and it is the persistent update button problem on the App Store. And it's very frustrating when those update buttons just want to disappear, right? When you cannot click them, they just don't do anything. So let's get into the details. Firstly, some users may find themselves in a situation where the update buttons for their iPhone applications refuse to budge. Basically, you can get inside the App Store and locate some of the apps which require you to be updated. So maybe look up something like Snapchat, for example, and see if anything is available as an update. For me, you can see it is right there. And it may happen to you that for whatever reason, you're trying to update and you might no longer have the update option available. So this is one of the possible causes. So it is possible that the developers have pulled the update from the service for whatever, whatever reason, right? So this is the importance of understanding the dynamics between your device and the App Store. It might have happened that when you click on the update button like this and it doesn't work, you cannot get it to work like I can. In this specific case, it could have happened, as I said, that the developers have already pulled the update back from the App Store servers and you cannot longer access it. So it's not your fault. There's nothing what you can do about it. Now, onto a more technical aspect, your internet connection, which could be disrupted if you use Wi-Fi or a cellular connection during the update process could be a common culprit. It's crucial to ensure the stability of your internet connection by checking your settings. So you can simply swipe down like this. You can see I'm connected to Wi-Fi. You can see it right here. If you have SIM card installed, make sure that the cellular actually works, that you have paid for your service, for your carrier. You might see the 5G right there, but if it doesn't have access to the internet, it's just not going to work. So yeah, that's how it basically works. Moving forward, you should also consider the state of your iPhone's software. Outdated software can potentially lead to App Store issues. So if anything happens, you should always head over to the uh, settings of your device, then to the uh, general section, then to the software update. And you'll probably notice that I already have an update ready. So in case something happens before I proceed, I need to try out if anything changes so I can update it like this. And if you've tried all of the above and the issue persists, it's time to check the service status. So there are websites like Dow Detector or the services from Apple, which show you if the App Store itself isn't experiencing downtime. So you can check out literally the page is called Apple Service Status. So this is what it looks like. Now you, you can just literally type that and you can see it is the first page that shows up. And it tells you that all services are operating normally, but you can expand on that and see App Store is literally the first one and it is available. But it can happen that here, instead of the available, it would be something else. Let's say that it would be like a red button saying that there is an issue. And in that case, there's not much what you can do other than to wait. But before we wrap up, a quick reminder to check out the link in the description for more courses on the Fox Tech educational platform. It will basically get you here and this is what you can access for free. Some of the courses are still being worked on, more to come in the future. But for example, you can check out the Dynamic Island Full Guide and stuff like this absolutely for free. So go ahead and do that right now. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And for more tech insights and troubleshooting tips, subscribe to, to the Fox Tag and your support means a lot, of course. So I'll see you guys later and peace.